Queen Elizabeth II is commemorating a significant anniversary. The 95-year-old monarch will observe the 70th anniversary of her accession to the throne on February the 6th, maintaining her reign as the longest-serving British monarch in history. In honour of the momentous occasion, new photographs of the Queen have been released on Friday evening, which show her relaxing while looking back at homemade cards and artwork sent by children and other members of the public from her Golden Jubilee in 2002, which had been kept in the Royal Archives. In the new pictures, Her Majesty appears happy and healthy in a vivid blue dress in the Oak Room of Windsor Castle. Touchingly, in these photographs, the Queen paid a touching tribute to her late father, whose death began the start of her reign, when she viewed Jubilee memorabilia as she prepares to reach her historic 70 years on the throne. Photographs have been released of Her Majesty 95, looking at her Platinum Jubilee cards and memorabilia from her Golden Jubilee. The monarch opted to wear her aquamarine and diamond clip brooches, worn separately in a diagonal setting on her turquoise dress. The jewels were an 18th birthday present from her beloved papa, George VI, in April 1944. In the photographs, the royal can be seen beaming as she views cards from well-wishers before leaning down to stroke her pet dog Candy. Meanwhile, there were a number of personal photographs propped against a table in the background of the image, including photographs of Catherine with Prince William, the Duke with his brother, Prince Harry, and a third showing Princess Beatrice and Eugenie. One of the portraits that royal fans were treated to showed Prince William and Catherine putting on an amorous display. The official portrait, which takes pride of place on a console table, showed the Queen's grandson and granddaughter-in-law hugging and smiling at the camera. It was taken taken back in December 2010 by Mario Testino as part of the Cambridge's engagement photo shoot ahead of their 2011 wedding. Another picture that could be seen in the background showed a younger William and his brother Prince Harry posing together. Meanwhile, a third image shows two figures posing together, one of whom had red hair while the other has brunette locks. It's unclear if this image shows Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. The Queen's two Art Deco style pieces were made by Boucheron from baguette, oval and round diamonds and aquamarines. She also chose to wear the precious brooches when she addressed the nation on the 75th anniversary of VE Day in 2020 and for her Diamond Jubilee televised speech in 2012. While they were taking the pictures two weeks ago, the Queen saw the pooch stroll into view of the cameras and said, And where did you come from? I know what you want. She then called Candy over and gave her a stroke. The cute doggy is one of three dogs still owned by the Queen, who also has a young corgi called Muke and another corgi puppy who replaced Fergus the doggy puppy who died unexpectedly in May last year. The Queen is expected to spend a session day, one of the biggest days of her reign, on February the 6th, with her family during an extended break at Wood Farm Cottage in Sandringham and will mark her Platinum Jubilee in private. The cottage was a favourite of her late husband, Prince Philip, and it is expected that the Queen will stay there to reflect on her incredible life and reign. There will be huge celebrations in June as the anniversary of the Queen's coronation will be marked with a special bank holiday. Events lined up include a star-studded concert, a day at the Epsom Derby and the London return of Trooping the Colour.